I'm Stephen Jones, I'm here at the exhibition that we've got at the Haberdashery that's in support of the Scottish Association for Mental Health. So the reason why these pictures are all done the way they are with this collage technique is because I use the technique as a way of telling stories. It was like a creating visual metaphors. So I'm going to take you through each picture so that you can understand. So the story with this one here is it's a, an issue that everyone in the UK will have experience with trying to negotiate a dirty city whilst wearing a white outfit, especially whilst trying to go out and trying to keep it clean and white. That's why she's straddling all the mess, because she's trying not to get her outfit dirty. And then a bit of trivia about this one as well. I shot this one in the same tunnel as the same famous scene from Clockwork Orange, where the droogs beat up the, uh, the old guy. I sort of, sometimes they have titles, sometimes don't, but this one's kind of like about walking tall and being confident. So the model is actually tiny. Um, so what I did was I actually had to use a step ladder. Um, so she ended up being like her head's about 10 feet, 12 feet off the ground. That one's all about confident, standing tall. You know, the idea of taking, I like the idea of taking someone who's actually very short and making her this, you know, this giant. This is actually the first one I ever did. With all the other ones, I'll go in with a concept before I start shooting. Whereas with this one, I was shooting just portraits of this guy. And then he'd sort of said, you know, is there anything else you want to do? And I said, well, I've got this idea. I'm not sure if it was like, I'm not sure if it'll work, but go with me on this. I like the way that he's just sort of lounging back and sort of looking very sort of devil may care, but that it's just so odd and weird. And often that's the one that people sort of see and will immediately kind of go, <gasps> you know, <laughs> <laughs> which I always like. This one's to do with the pressure of modern living and like, uh, and, and how exhausting it often is to just be in the modern world. So that's why she's so kind of hangdog like and like this. And for some reason, when I was thinking about it, the first thing that came to mind was this red Adidas tracksuit. And I tried thinking of other outfits, but then it, it, for some reason it had stuck. So I was like, well, you know, they're ordering a red Adidas tracksuit on the internet. So <laughs> there's that. This one is kind of like the antithesis of the Jennifer Lopez um, song where she says, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Because the whole point of this one is that the, the woman is doing this display of of wealth through showing all the rings and she's showing like, look, I'm wealthy, you're not, so I'm better than you, your, your poverty disgusts me. <laughs> so it's about like a showing power um, by a display of wealth, which I suppose again is like something that's become quite, quite hot topic these days <laughs> from like everyone from like pop stars to, uh, you know, government, uh, high government members, you know, and, uh, you know, with the gap between rich and poor. When we were talking about mental health as well, a thing that I often think that you see in the modern world is you'll have someone who was obsessed with something that brought them great joy when they were a kid, and it could be riding a horse or uh, skateboarding or painting, anything like that. And for some reason, they've kind of stopped doing it as they became an adult. You know, maybe they felt that uh, you put away childish things, or maybe it's like, well, I was never that good, so I shouldn't do it. And I, I sort of more and more think, look, you don't have to be pro at it. For example, I still ride BMX, I never gave it up. And you do get funny looks being like a 43 year old, six foot four guy on a BMX. But it's just always, I'm not even very good. <laughs> but it's always something that's made me really happy. And I just think that like uh, often, um, you have to think about who that person was when you were a child. And you know, was there something that you loved and just that was tons of fun. And maybe if you try it again, then you might find that it's something that you still yeah, really enjoy. So that, that's why this one's like, hold on to your child, and so that's why she's gripping onto the, onto the slide. 
I'm not sure if you're aware of the word, manspreading. Guys essentially on public transport, sitting with their legs wide open, and they're sort of taking up three, three seats on the train or the tube or the bus, and like, you know, arms out, taking up all the thing. So I thought <clears throat> it'd be fun to turn it on its head and like have a woman manspreading and like have her taking up an entire bench as well and like you know so that's why she's got that facial expression on as well where she's kind of a bit you know what are you going to do about it <laughs> and then this last one the reason why uh we're, we're here is that i'd said to a friend um, during lockdown um i want to do a sale with these prints that are done uh, that are framed and i want to um in support of the scottish association for mental health and, um, and I was like, I'll just put it online. And she was going, no, no, what you want to do is make a new picture that's specifically about mental health. And then that can be like the focus of the whole thing. And then that would make it make sense. And I kind of went, oh well, yeah, that's actually a much better idea than, than my idea. So my wife uh, teaches uh, yoga and meditation to primary school kids. So she'd had this quote about, it's uh, easier to build strong children than fix broken men. So I had had this idea of like, oh yeah, you could, you know, have a little, a boy or a girl, but like get a bodybuilder or a personal trainer with massive arms and like stick them together. And again, like um, I thought it was gonna look like this one thing. And then when I started to put it together, I was like, it's not how I think it, and not how I think it's going to be. And then you sort of drop in a few bits and I'm like, all oh, right, now it's all coming together. And it's quite exciting because as I say, I've planned it and I've done them before, but like when they start to come together, they're always a little bit different than you would imagine. If you would like to buy prints of this picture, there is a limited amount on my website. There's a link below this video and all proceeds are going to the Scottish, Associ Scottish Association for Mental Health and then all the pictures that you can see in the exhibition that are framed they're all up for sale as well um, with proceeds going to the Scottish Association for Mental Health uh, and they're all you know one-off individual prints as well. Mm -hmm.